I'm David Essex, Editor-at-Large at Search ERP, here for a transatlantic discussion with my colleague Brian McKenna of London-based Computer Weekly and Bob DeCoe, Vice President of AI and RPA at IFS. Bob explains what makes AI truly intelligent and how robotic process automation draws from AI but differs from it in important ways. To hear the full interview with Bob DeCoe and learn more about the roles of AI and RPA in ERP, click the link above. Bob, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I thought we might start with um, some definitions of terms. I'm wondering what you would say makes software intelligent as opposed to being something that's almost mechanical or just sort of basically rules-based. Um, well, I mean, yeah, it's always what comes down to the definition of intelligent, but if we think of, you know, hard-coded rules, they're, they're set in stone, they don't change, they don't adapt. So I think that's a big part of what intelligence is, you know, the ability to adapt and, and learn um, and to find, you know, deep complex patterns in data, maybe uh, itself without them needing to be hard-coded. Um, I think how you represent that knowledge is also a measure of intelligence, you know, rather than just the if then rules, as you said, it, it could be more complex hierarchies, it could be relationships with, with different strengths, you know, similarly to how the brain works. Um, but, you know, moving towards what a proper intelligent, you know, artificial general intelligence would be, where you can take all that knowledge and apply it to general problems, do proper planning and strategizing. I, I don't think we're we're at that stage with software yet. So I think, you know, learning absolutely representing knowledge, yes, but but not, you know, fully towards solving all different types of problems. Still needs guidance. Bob, your your job title extends to RPA, robotic mm. process automation. You said about you know, machine learning being a subset of AI, is, is RPA a, a subset of AI or is it a more traditional tech? It, it, RPA is a, a difficult one because it, it undoubtedly features a lot of AI in the work that it does. But I think the AI is necessary because it's trying to solve a traditional problem in a traditional way. It's, it's mm -hmm. effectively trying to replicate how a human interacts with a system, you know, in terms of the clicks they're making and, and the processes they're following, but by trying to, to follow that through uh, a GUI, you know, effectively. Uh, and so by, by taking that approach of trying to replicate a human, you have to solve a lot of very complex problems that do use AI. You know, you need almost a computer vision. You need to understand what buttons on a screen look like. You need to be able to handle uncertainty of whether a user meant to be pressing A or B. So there's lots of uses for AI within RPA. But is it solving a problem that artificial intelligence should really be applied to? Not, not really for me. I mean, it's, it's really trying to solve, it's trying to automate a workflow. And you can, you can do that using now, in my opinion, often more effectively, sort of system integration tools, right? You know, just being able to make sure that systems can talk to each other via API so they can communicate, they can pass data more effectively. RPA is a good way of set, sitting over the top, as I say, you know, replicating what a human does. It's quick and easy to set up. But I, I'm not sure it scales that well and is, is particularly you know, robust because if the process changes, um, or even if, you know, I think a big one, what if a human wasn't doing something in the best possible way? You know, what if you're replicating an inefficient system anyway. Um, that, that's not a particularly good approach. And it would actually make more sense to just try and automate that workflow and perhaps apply some machine learning or reinforcement learning to that process against some metrics. Is this the best way of doing it? Could I have done it in fewer clicks? Could I have done it in a more effective way so that you know, my customer is waiting less time on the phone? Um, so I think RPA, if we break that down, process automation is, is key. And we do a lot of that within ERP software. You know, we're always looking to automate processes. And you, you said it's, it's in my job title. That absolutely is. But I think it's evolving more towards automation and process automation than, than RPA. 
Um, ARC is very much about how different systems talk to each other. And for us as an ERP vendor, we absolutely need to make sure that we make it as easy as possible for other systems to talk to us, to get data in, to be able to communicate to perhaps you know, bundle up our APIs so that it's clear how someone could you know, send an invoice in or, or, or import some data from a particular program. Um, but the extent of us dealing with RPA doesn't really stretch outside the boundaries of the ERP. So process automation within our ERP, absolutely, but I, I wouldn't call it RPA particularly. So yeah, I, I come across as a little bit of a, a, a skeptic on this, I, I think it's, it's a good way for people to get up and running with automating processes, but I don't, I don't think it's the way of doing it.